Hi, I'm Scott Schweiger, Curator of Art here at the Reading Public Museum, and I'm here next to Henrietta with a Red Book by John French Sloan, an American artist, currently not represented in the collection in an oil painting. Uh, this painting dates to 1913, which is a pivotal year for the artist, and I'll talk a bit more about that uh, in a few minutes, but just a, a bit about his background. He was born in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, uh, and his family moved to Philadelphia uh, in the early part of the 20th century. He attended Central High School, where William Blackens and Albert Barnes of the Barnes Collection attended. Um, he started off as a um, newspaper illustrator working for the Philadelphia Inquirer and other publications uh, before attending classes at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, where he studied with Thomas Anschutz and connected with Robert Henry. Uh, eventually, he moved to New York uh, right around the, the turn of the 20th century, uh, where he was known as one of the, uh, one of the eight, uh, a group of American modernists who organized um, and got together uh, uh, from their common subject matter, uh, which essentially were places like Greenwich Village, the, uh, the Lower East Side, uh, the meatpacking uh, industry, um, all of these things were fodder for their oil paintings. This work comes in around 1913, um, and it shows Henrietta Meyer, who was uh, a professional woman. She was uh, a so-called shop girl, and uh, Sloan painted her at least five times between 1913 and 1914 in campuses, which were essentially studies on color. Uh, for Sloan. 1913 was a pivotal year in American art uh, because of the Armory Show in New York City, which introduced many American artists uh, to European modernism for the first time. So they got to see the likes of uh, Renoir, Cezanne, uh, Picasso, uh, Duchamp, um, and Matisse for the first time. And this had a tremendous influence on John Sloan uh, and his art and the direction of his art. He became much more of a colorist because of exposure to uh, the French foes. And um, Henrietta here is, is literally uh, one of the direct results of that. Uh, so we see her um, uh, sort of staring back at us. Uh, she's got on a, a brown velvet dress, a coral necklace that appears in at least three other of, of Sloan's compositions of Henrietta. Uh, and the background is this kind of icy blue. Uh, you can almost follow the artist's brush strokes. Uh, it looks as fresh today as it, uh, as it was when it was painted uh, about 105 years ago. Uh, Sloan was really attracted to her porcelain skin color, uh, to her dark eyes and to her dark hair. He really loved the contrast that that set up uh, with the colorful background. Um, so for us here at the Reading Public Museum, um, the, the, the gap that this John Sloan portrait would fill is, uh, is an important one. He's an important Pennsylvania artist. Um, we we, we uh, want uh, more of a representation of uh, Pennsylvania artists. We also want more of a representation of early American modernists. Um, and so this is an outstanding example. Um, we hope that you'll go online uh, and contribute to uh, the crowdsourcing for the purchase or the acquisition of Henrietta. Um, uh, we need as much support from the community as we can get. Uh, we're thrilled to have her on the wall uh, during this campaign, that, which runs through the end of March. Um, and we hope you'll go online and contribute and make sure that Henrietta finds a 